Pastor Richard Scoff kept a secret from his wife and from his church. I was having trouble writing checks and dialing the phone, and I wasn't getting anything done. I would go to church and just lock myself in the office and not even answer the phone, not see anybody. And for a pastor, that's a hard thing. I thought it was an emotional problem. Like I thought, he's not caring or we're not connecting like we used to. What's going on here? It soon became evident to the church board that something was wrong with her pastor. Gina Clausen remembers what it was like to talk to Richard. He would get fixated on things and it just, you'd have a conversation and you'd think, something's not right here. I couldn't control my brain. I, I, people would say things to me and it, I would answer them, but it'd be, it wouldn't even be what they were talking about. The church board asked Richard to step down from his position and to see a doctor to determine the nature of his problems. Through an MRI and CAT scan, his doctor determined that Richard had early onset Lewy body disease, a form of dementia and Alzheimer's with no known cure. When the doctor said, your husband, you know, has dementia, Lewy body disease, and he's not gonna get better, that was the hardest day of my life to hear that. It was so hard. To have this happen, it was just like, how can this happen to a man of God? This is so major, this is my life, it's over. You know, I mean, I thought it was over. I thought my life was over. The doctor said the symptoms would only get worse and advised the couple to move to a single story home because Richard would not be able to walk up or down steps. Despite the discouraging prognosis, they believed God could heal and restore Richard's mind. When she'd really be down sometimes, you know, about it, I'd go, honey, I said, this is no more than a cold for God. You know, we've seen God heal so many things. We've seen him heal backs. We've seen him heal, you know, we've seen him heal all kinds of things, you know, cancers and everything. And now this is, this is not a big thing for God. God can deal with it. We practiced the protocol of what the Word of God says is if anybody's sick among you, you know, then the leaders of the church, the elders of the church should lay hands on that person and pray over them in faith. And they stood in faith. An expectation. We just kept standing on the Word of God and just even though days you wouldn't feel it, you, you might see Him and be discouraged, but we just didn't look at that. We just kept looking to the Word of God. Richard says that during a time of prayer he heard God tell him to use all the tools available for his healing, including nutrition. He started taking coconut oil. We took high antioxidant juices, changed our diet radically, and we started to really invest in our health. They soon began to see improvement in his memory and mental capacity. This is huge, you know what I mean? We've, I'm able to dial the phone, you know? I'm able to go up the steps without tripping, you know? I mean, this is big. Two years after Richard's diagnosis, their doctor was amazed by the level of his recovery. When the doctor came out and said, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it. Well, we'll tell you what we're doing. <laughs> we prayed. <laughs> it was God. It was God. But we used all the tools. You know, we were open to, we felt like the Holy Spirit saying, change your diet. Add these things into your diet. This is going to help him. They attribute Richard's healing to their faith in God and to following his directions. Richard is able to preach again and is sharper than he was before Thank his you. struggle with Not dementia. He's alive. He's, death could not hold him down. I've got my husband back. That is amazing that I've got him back fully. Jesus said, with man it's impossible, but with God all things are possible. And we had to hold on to that scripture. We had to stand on the word of God. I, you need to get a scripture and you need to stand on it and say, no, my God says, by his stripes I am already healed. I am not sick, I am well, fighting off some foreign substance, trying to come into my body, and I will not allow it, and Jesus, I know that you're healing me, and confess it and live it.